Yeah. I, I really like the story you told me, Gail, about um, the march to Checkers. Would you do that again for us? Sure, yeah. So uh, this was uh, Tori and Lou and a group that were um, had decided that they wanted to bring love to power. It was on the equinox. I was actually away in a ceremony myself, praying for the rebellion. And so they walked along what's called um, the Mary Michael lines. So it's a ley line to checkers with the idea of bringing love to power. And they sang this Teze song, you know, this really beautiful harmonic song. Uh, comes from the Christian tradition, which was about let love lead the way and listen to your heart. And uh, because they had kids with them, there was breastfeeding mums and toddlers kicking off and nappies had to be changed. You know what it's like, you know, you're like eh, any sense of timing's gone and they were two hours late getting to checkers and they were, I guess, thinking they were late than they intended, walked into a farm shop and Boris Johnson was there. These often feels like these synchronicities and magic happens in Extinction Rebellion. I've had a lot of those experiences, right thing happening at the right time. Anyway, they start to sing to him this beautiful Teze song and they put their hands on him and he put his hand on his heart and started to cry. Uh, it started to fill up and started to shake as well and uh, it happened for a few minutes he recomposed himself and he went to his girlfriend apparently and said um, where where did these people come from it's like they emerged from the earth and one of them said yeah we had a message for you and he put his hand on his heart and said listen to your heart let love lead the way and then he called us a bunch of uh, what was it um, inconvenient crusties or uncom- uncooperative crusties everybody started putting it like wearing it as a badge of honour and um, that, you know, in the rebellion, he said that. It was a bit of bravado, wasn't it, honestly? Uh, and then we sent out a press release reminding him that this thing had happened and that no one's beyond redemption. And I reflected on it that night and thought, gosh, what we really need is for him or his dad or somebody to come and have a dialogue with us. And it was already happening. It was already being arranged. His dad joined us on the streets. And that can be problematic for some people from the outside looking and thinking, God, these middle-class privileged people are chatting to the like, neo-fascists or whatever i guess our theory of change is to believe in the power of love and that communication and dialogue and listening is always needed you know thanks for watching this podcast and going all the way to the end of it was you should kind of to click the bell it might not be there could be over there and uh, subscribing so that we can infiltrate your serenity and peace of mind with jangling bells and buzzes thank you